are some of the things that what sitting too long and laying too long do to your body? So the issue with sitting is you are sedentary for way too long. Mm -hmm. Highest risk being over eight hours a day. What? Mm. Yes. So sitting is slowing everything down, you're not moving, and the body was meant to move. So things stagnate, tissues get overstretched, tissues get compressed, and the sitting disease now is what they're calling it, or sitting is the new smoking, can cause issues with your major systems. So your heart, your lungs, your digestion and metabolism yeah. can lead to high blood pressure, high cholesterol, weight gain, Mm -hmm. You can have mood, memory, or mental issues that can contribute to depression and anxiety. And then from a musculoskeletal perspective, back pain, neck pain, mm -hmm. shoulder pain, and even weak bones because you're not getting the mechanical pull on the bones mm -hmm. that stimulates bone health. Wow, thanks for making us feel whole. <laughs> yeah, let's get to the um, answers, exercises. Let's, can I do stuff while I'm sitting? Yes. So we are going to give exercises so that when you're sitting throughout your day and you're taking your break mm -hmm. once an hour, you're also doing little exercises that get your body moving. So the first exercise we can do is an arch and curl because you know everyone is like yeah. this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Right, right, right? Forward head, rounded shoulders. So. Right. Feet hip width apart or shoulder width apart. You can place your hands on the thighs and you're going to arch. Mm. Yes, and reverse that curve in the low back. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and then curl down. So this is a low back exercise. Oh, you know what? You that feel feels really right good. Here. It's like, yes, it's a seated cat cow essentially. So you're getting your spine moving and you're activating your postural muscles. And how many should you do? How many sets? This you can do, I like to just do five or eight quality exercises. Mm -hmm. So this is one of the exercises exercises where you're again we are rounded forward mm -hmm. this will get you back in this fashion okay Can I ask you a question I'm not supposed to ask what if for some reason when you go back like that you have a like a pain sensation how do you know your limits so you want to move where it's comfortable for yourself if you of course I'm gonna say this if you have any pains that need to be sussed out go see your doctor or physical therapist but l go into where your ranges are move where it's comfortable you're just trying to activate your muscles and your postural muscles and then reverse the bad posture of such Yes. you know so many hours in this forward bent position all right then so we have that's the, arms. the arch and curl so then an overhead stretch again is another one that really opens everything because the front side gets compressed and short so arms are going to stretch up and overhead if you cannot clasp them and bring them up you can also bring your hands behind your head elbows wide this feels mm -hmm. great this is great so you're going to just reach straight up Perfect. you're really lifting from your core your belly button mm -hmm. and your low back and then you're going to arch backwards again and again, this really helps that low Man, back. That feels great. Where you that feels are really reversing good. the curve and restoring the natural curve in the low back. How about and then, necks? Yeah, and shoulders. So neck. So I like to help people uh, fix their problems and balance themselves out. So because we're normally like yes. this, mm -hmm. yes. everything in the front is all nice and short. So you're going to sit up nice and tall. You're going to bring your head back in space. So you're stacking it over your vertebrae. And then you can place your hands on your chest or your sternum here, your collarbone. Or and your then, microphone. Or your microphone, sorry. And then you're going to bring your head up and back, and you should feel a stretch in the front of the throat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can also turn your head a little bit to the side, and this will get your scalene's muscle, which is the muscle that tightens down in the neck and oh, gets short and tight when we're working. And yes. you want to know what? what? Ophthalmologists are going to love it because we're supposed to give our eyes break. Yes. Eyes a break. This is perfect for that too. Well, Prina, yes. thank you so much. Everyone in the studio was doing, doing the exercises it. with I love us. It. So thank I love you, it. thank you. Always teaching.